Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. How, are How are you? Good afternoon. Are you? Are, you? are you ready for the monkeys? Yes. yes. Are they ready for us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, after the meeting inside. <laughs> so, maybe after the meeting. Then maybe they're all ready for us. Yeah. That's okay, so welcome to the monkey sanctuary. My name is Tinashe, and I'm going to be your tour guide. Once you get inside, we are going to move with the monkeys. Our monkeys are free living monkeys. They are not in a cage like this one. So, you may be fortunate. Oh, sorry. What happened there? Uh, okay. So you may be fortunate enough, a monkey, monkey can poo. jump on you. So if a monkey jumps on you, do not touch the monkeys. Yeah. Let the monkeys do the touching. But you guys, you are allowed to take as many pictures as you want. Safe words, make sure you put your valuables where they are safe. Because our monkeys are kleptomaniacs. Sit with these. They will make sure that they will take something from you. How it goes. Let's give it a try. <laughs> That's okay. So all the monkeys that you're going to see in this century, they come from the Amazon basin. That is southern coast of America, the lakes of Brazil, Peru, Bolivia. That's where they come from. And 90% of the monkeys that you're going to see in this century, they are donated monkeys. Which means 10% they were actually born in here. So people, they actually buy them from petty shops in Johannesburg there. They buy them when they're very young. But monkeys are not good pets. You can only keep them for a specified period of time. That is from the age of zero up to the age of six years. And once they get to the age of six years, and once they get to the age of six years, when they'll be sexually mature, they start being aggressive, mm. biting people, yeah. scratching people, breaking things, yeah. urine biting. So the owners will end up donating these monkeys to us and we give them the second chance to live in the wild. Okay. Yes. So if you see, these ones are lemurs. So lemurs are not monkeys. They are before monkeys. They belong to the bush baby family. Hello. The food they actually can stand. Give it to the monkey. He was going to eat it. He was going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? <laughs> because he's a monkey. And you. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's look for these monkeys. So guys, come close. Come close. Guys, Aiden. Aiden, come here. Aiden. No, you need to find the monkey. Monkey who's not here. A naughty one. That he wants that so one. this one is Wolverine. He belongs to the Black Cap Captain. These ones are called the Black Cap Captain or the Tucker Captain. Yeah, the naughty ones. In the gestation period of the Black Cap Captain. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You're greedy. <laughs> You have to understand this, guys. Monkeys' hands will never get full. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's greedy. He wants more and more and more. And more and more. Why? Some kids say they use them for empty movies. I'm quite sure you guys have watched Paris of the Caribbean, Game Over, Night of the Museum, Yes, Ventura Friends, and many more. And guys, come close. Stretchy fish. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! So this one is the nimble spider monkey. Two in the hands. Come close to it. This is the biggest monkey that we have in the century. Oh really? Yes, and this is the most dominant one. She doesn't tolerate nonsense. <laughs> so she's got a tendency of grabbing two or three monkeys at the same time. Release them by giving them one slap. One. Next one. He's busy eating. And the last one. So spider monkeys, they've got four fingers. They do not have thumbs. But capture monkeys, those ones, they've got five fingers, including thumbs. So guys, we feed these monkeys three times a day. That is 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. 8 o'clock we give them breakfast, 12 o'clock we give them lunch, and the last meal of the day is at 3 o'clock. That's when we give them the last meal, that is the supper. So I've got many feeding platforms in this sanctuary. The reason why we've got a lot of feeding platforms is because of the different species of lemurs and monkeys that we have. It's not possible for us to have one feeding platform because these monkeys will fight. And some of the monkeys will not get food to eat. And one of the feeding platforms is that one that you're seeing there, can you see? Okay. Yeah. That one which looks like a table. Yes. And also a red basin of water that is down there. Okay. So eight o'clock we cut bananas, apples, corn, oranges. We also cook pumpkins, mix with beetroot and sweet potatoes. We also put potatoes inside. Then we cook rice, mix with jungle oats and macaroni. We put USA for proteins, efforts for skin management, and also ensure for nutritional supplements. We give them provita. Wheat bix, we boil eggs, we boil chicken, oh, yeah. pussies, gun fried, put tomato sauce. Wow. They're 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 good good diet. Diet. We also give them, <laughs> did you see it? I saw it. In a dish. Yes. But we he climbed up above us and was eating provita. Yeah. <laughs> we, we also give them butter beans with tuna as well. Marshmallows once a week. Wow. Oh, oh, marshmallows, nice. they've got sugar, yes. Nice. On Christmas Day last year, <laughs> we give them bacon with vanilla ice cream. Oh, 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 oh. I'm telling you. Bacon with. Bacon yes. Do I understand this right? Yeah. Ice cream was just for dessert. <laughs> bacon was the meal of the day. Okay. What about and beer? Do macaroni. Do they drink beer? <laughs> Let me tell you what they would. That's a good question. <laughs> so these capuchin monkeys, they've got a tendency of breaking the millipedes, the ones that people say the chongololo. Do you know that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they break and then they eat the stuff which is inside. Really? But they break. don't do it more often. Yeah. Mm. But really? once they drink it, they eat that stuff. Yes. Uh, really? You will see a drama. <laughs> <laughs> they get drunk. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ask you even if you ask some of the guys. Like, those amarula you. fruits. Like, no, not no, Amarula. No, 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 no. Chocololo. Another no, 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 centipede. Centipede. Maybe we're going to see it on yes. our way. Yes. So when they'll when break it into the stuff which is inside. They don't even take 30 seconds. And then the next thing you ask Derek. Yes. The saliva is coming out. Oh, he's already too thirsty. <laughs> and if you do the tours, those monkeys are drunk. People will enjoy. Yeah. Uh, How long do they stay drunk for? They can actually go for 45 minutes drunk. Really? Yeah. Then after 45 minutes, tomorrow. they sleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> they sleep it Yes. After wow. sleeping, I think the stomach will be empty. They'll come to the kitchen. Cook, cook. <laughs> nice and one food now. <laughs> so now, every time when I see a monkey with a chongololo, <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> you want to get drunk? Uh, I'm listening to you. I'm listening listen to you. <laughs> they will listen to me. You saw that one, Derek was shaking yes. me. Yes. Mm. Okay. What with them? They will get to know you. You form a bond relationship with them through food. Okay. Wow. No food, no relationship. No money, no girlfriend. Yeah, it is yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nature of life. <laughs> so, right. so Wednesdays we bring out some cushions with some mattresses. We put them on the deck where those uh, feeding group was, yeah. and then with a bowl, and then with some nuts and the marshmallows. Oh, so we throw the bowl in the air, and then they'll jump yes. on the bowl, and then we throw the, uh, the, the marshmallow. So it's either you're going to catch the bowl, 
Oh, the marshmallow. <laughs> what did they pick? The marshmallow. I'm telling you, oh, this time, oh, these monkeys, they are now very intelligent. <laughs> Throw the ball, they won't jump. I was waiting for the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. 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 Throw the marshmallows, then you will see that monkeys can fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what well, from now. We are going to cross the bridge, which is called the Sino Evil Bridge. It's a wobbly bridge. A shaking bridge. When you get there, guys, I will make sure that everyone is safe. Uh, the kids, the, the ones oh that are God. supposed to cross first because it's a wobbly bridge. So these little ones, our little ones, they will cross first and then followed by my queen who is here and then all of us we can follow. <laughs> That's the best. Welcome to the bridge, which is called the Sino Evil Bridge. It's a wobbly bridge. Okay. It's a second bridge. So, guys, when you are crossing the bridge, do not slide your hands to avoid speeders. You just move your hands from one point to another. Okay. Because if you slide your hands, you might end up with these speeders. We're not going to spend much time here, as you can see, that is very As you can cross, guys, when you get to the end, you wait for me. Okay. So guys, this tree is called the common euphobia. The common oh euphobia tree. In okay. Africa, they call it nabwe. Nabwe. This is the nabwe. Okay. So this tree produces milk substance. That is very poisonous. Oh, really? I want to show you something. Yes, yeah, so I don't touch. Mm. Can you see? Mm. The milk substance. Mm. This milk substance. Okay. Can you see it? It's so, poisonous. It's poisonous, yes. So if the milk substance of the common euphobia yeah. sp uh, spills on your skin, yeah. which causes skin irritation and burns. If it spills it, your yeah. eyes may be black. Mm. So, but does the monkeys... That's a good question, we're going there. So if the milk substance of the common euphobia spills on your skin, like I, say, or like I said earlier yeah. on, you're supposed to seek medical attention immediately. Really? So back then the Bushmen, they used the milk substance of the common euphobia on their arms. Mm. So that if they shoot an animal, it dies quick. Mm. Now wow. coming to your question, wow. a lot of people, they ask questions, so... Why is it that you're keeping a poisonous tree in the sunshine? You put a lot of them inside here. Why? Because these are indigenous trees. You cut them, they'll grow. But do they affect these primates that we have? No. The monkeys, the lemurs, and the jackass, they actually know that the common euphobia is poisonous. Mm -hmm. But the capuchin monkeys, they break the fresh, fresh branches. Then they jump onto another tree. By the time that those branches dry on the ground, insects get inside. That's when monkeys come and open the dead branches to eat uh, the insects. Okay, the, the fishermen, they use this milk substance, shape it, sprinkle it on top of water, draw the fish on top. Mm. Yeah. Wow. We're going now, we're going now. So back then the bushmen, they used the milk substance of the common before. Yeah. They would boil it with water and put a little bit of salt, leave it to cool down, make what was called the African glue, which is a bit elastic yeah. for catching birds. Wow. The common euphobia. Wow. Wow. So this is the starting and the ending. Did you guys enjoy? Yeah. Very yeah. Much. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, Thank for you. coming. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Thank you. you can post your comments on our Facebook platform to the Trip Advisor. Tell your friends, workmates, colleagues, acquaintances about the experience with the monkeys. That's how we get visitors and also our enumerations. So, guys, until we meet again, it's goodbye. My name is Tinashe. Remember to take care of your loved ones and each other. Have a blessed and wonderful 2023. If you also want to write comments, there's a comment box which is outside there. Thank you want you. to bless your guide, there's a tip box which is outside there. Otherwise, thank guys, you so thank you so much for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.